Let's pray. Oh, Lord Jesus, we've just been thinking of an incident that took place in thy earthly life back in old Judea. Here we are, Lord, in another part of the world, on another continent, among another kind of people, in another period of history. Human nature hasn't changed at all. Men still have two eyes and two ears, their heads still on top of their body and their feet underneath. They still grow old and die and children are born. Everything is the same. Color, cultures, distances, they change. Oh, Lord, thou knowest, people remain the same. There are people here tonight, eager people who'd run to inquire, how can I be saved? And then when they find out, would go the other way. And there may be people who would eagerly inquire, how can I be filled with the Holy Ghost? And when they find out, sorrowfully turn away. My Lord God, Allah, must grieve thy heart as it grieves ours a little bit. It must grieve thine with infinite grief. We sorrow a little, thou must sorrow with boundless sorrow. Thou man of sorrows, acquainted with grief. We hid, as it were, our faces from thee, and turn our back and go away. Sorrowing we go, but go sorrowing. O Lord, have mercy, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. And thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of a virgin. And thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. We therefore pray, O Lord, Save thy people, which thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Lift them up, make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. O Lord, this night, shepherd of Israel and ours, find that land. O shepherd of thy flock, find that straying sheep. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Father, we pray that thou wilt be pleased to bless these words. Thou knowest how, how, or how, how our words fly about and like birds around the chimney. Oh, but Jesus, take the word, at least the text, and carry it home to our Put in us, we pray thee, a great longing after thee, a great own desire to know thee in living in time by the Holy Ghost, through the blood, until all our self-confidence is gone. And we rest, Lord. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Now, our Heavenly Father, we are before Thee. We think that it's hot. And we're just slightly uncomfortable. But, oh God, if we knew for positive certainty that Thy Holy Son, Jesus, were coming at midnight tonight, nobody would mention the weather. We'd be alert. And our loins would be girded, and our lamps lighted, and our shoes on our feet, and our staff in our hands. And we would be looking and hoping. But, Lord, we pray thee that thou wilt help us to live now, and to think now, as if that coming was indeed as soon as midnight. And we pray that thy blessing may be on us as we think together about the call of the Holy Ghost to men. Oh, God, help, we pray. May our minds be brought in from the busy world out there and from the noise, and may they be centered upon holy things and holy thoughts. But thou knowest, Lord, it's not certain how much longer any of us will be this side 
of the border. So we pray thee while we are here, and opportunity is ours, to lay hold of it and do what we can to make our calling and election sure. Help now tonight in the giving of this word. We pray in our Lord Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Now let's pray. O oh, love of God, thou hidden love of God, we have found thee. We have found thee, for thou hast found us. For we were not looking for thee, thou art looking for us. We have found, and thou hast found. And we know thee, or rather, as Paul said, we are known of thee. How thou bless this fellowship, this group that's heard these words tonight. May we go out in the mid horns and airplanes overhead and noises of every kind. May we hear this gentle, insistent, sovereign, authoritative, winsome voice calling us to be Christians, calling Christians to be good Christians, and calling good Christians to be still better Christians, calling us to put the world away and focus our attention on eternal values that will be hereafter, kingdoms have fallen and Democracies have gone down in the dust. Great God, help us over these days just ahead. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray for these who raise the hand. We have no way of knowing what the need might be. Thou knowest about it. But the great thing is that the heart is determined and the will is set that they'll hear this voice of the blood of Jesus speaking and pleading like a lawyer before a court, pleading for his client. So our advocate above, Savior by the throne of love, pleads. And we pray that they may hear that voice. And they quietly tonight turn away from everything, everything that could possibly slow them down. Put away every weight and everything that could keep them from being the kind of Christians they ought to be. And we pray for any who may not be Christians or who may be on the border and not sure. God in Christ's name, we pray that they may turn to thee with all their hearts. For if ye call upon me with all your heart, ye shall most surely find me. Help us now, Lord, as we wait a little further and sing thy praise in Christ's name. Amen. Father, we pray thy blessing upon the truth. Lord Jesus, we would, we would be clean men and women we would put away evil. We would cease to do wrong. We would amend our ways. But all this we would do knowing that in us there dwells no good thing. Knowing that left to ourselves that we could not possibly wash ourselves nor make ourselves right nor live right. We thank Thee for the Holy Spirit. We thank Thee for the power of the Gospel. We thank Thee for the retreat of prayer and the hiding place of devotion. We thank Thee, Lord, that it's possible to live as become saints in an evil and adulterous generation. Grant that we may, for Christ's sake. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, how thou didst ever find us when so many millions go their way careless tonight we'll never know but it's grace sweet grace eternal 
that takes all our sins away. And David's royal fountain washes us clean. We thank thee. Pray thee for all present this evening. Pray there might be a searching of heart and an exposing of our nature before thy light to know whether indeed we belong in heaven or in hell, whether indeed we're sons of Adam or sons of God. Oh, God, save us from carelessness. Here in Canada and down in the United States and many a few other countries in the world, we're like this rich man. We have so much. We live sumptuous. It's in our way. It's making us forget that sometime soon we're going to die. And we're going to go where the claim is laid to us, where we belong. Oh, God, help this evening, this hour. I pray for Christ. Let us sing. And if now or after the service you want to see me, I'll be available. Let's pray. It could be that somebody would like me to offer prayer for you. Last Sunday night after service, a young man from another country who was a Roman Catholic came to me, said he had heard me twice, and he was concerned. I can't recall word for word, but something to the effect that he was deeply concerned about his soul and his relation to God, and could I help him? I prayed with him, exhorted him, and then told him to read the Gospel of John prayerfully, asking God for life. Maybe he's here tonight. I hope he is. He promised to keep in touch with me. Maybe you would like to have me pray for you. If you would simplest old-fashioned this way I know just to raise the hand so I'll know who wants prayer. Would you raise the hand? Who would like to have me pray for you? For any need at all that might be uh, that might be in your life. Any need that might be in your life, put the hand up. We'll know that somebody wants prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray tonight that thou will help us to hear thy people. Oh, we thank thee for that that glorious Jerusalem the golden, milk and honey blessed, where dwell the spirits of just men made perfect, and where thy church will someday be, we thank thee, O Lord Christ, victorious, triumphant Lord Jesus. God hath made thee both Lord in Christ, and has set thee head over all things to the church, has made thee heir of all things, thou who art the shining forth of his glory, the express image of his person, in whom dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. We love thee, Lord Jesus. We want to serve thee. We want this church to be a Christ church indeed. We repudiate the ways of worldly churches. We repudiate the psychology and philosophy of worldly churches. We insist we want to be a New Testament church. Make it so, Lord, we pray thee. Bless these dear friends. For Christ's sake, amen. Now unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto his God, the Father. To him be glory and dominion, now and forever. Amen. But before we sing, we want to pray. Let's pray. Oh, our kind Father, we thank thee Thou hast not left us in our sins. Thou hast thought of a way for us. Thou hast planned it in Christ Jesus, thy Son, our Lord. Thou hast worked it out by blood and tears and 
groan, death, and the miracle of resurrection, and the wonder of ascension to the right hand of the throne. And I have sent the Holy Ghost to say everywhere throughout the world, He that believeth him on him shall not perish. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, we thank the heavenly Father. Time is running out. And it's later than we know. And then thou hast warned us gently and carefully to be careful what we do with this message. Be careful lest we take too much for granted. To be careful lest the devil get the seed, lest the cares of life take the seed, lest we be Christians only in name and have a name that we live but be dead. My God, it would be better that we should perish from the naked slopes of the Balling Valley and from the rich precincts of Toronto. Better that we should die pagans cutting off the necks of chickens. Try to appease some bestial God and to die Canadians and Americans and Englishmen and Scotsmen who heard from their childhood this wondrous message. But have let it go. Oh, God, what do we say to thee in that time? What answer can we have? From the bali naked, savage men smeared with pig grease and clay and stand up and say, we never heard it. But who here can say Oh, God, we've heard it, and we've heard it, and we've heard it until we're bored with it. God, forgive us. Give us a new something, a new baptism of interest, a new, a new afflatus of, 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 of fresh interest in the things of the gospel. Oh, God, we pray that thou will help the friends here tonight. Lord, we pray for those who are well saved that they might become so keenly concerned for others that aren't saved, that they would continue to work for their salvation hard and struggle and pray and labor until one by one they're gathered in. Grant, we pray, our God, that there might be a harvest of souls that have new. We're overdue, Lord. It's long overdue. But God, we're not giving up. We expect to see it. We expect to see it, Father. We expect thee to give us a harvest. We expect to see young people brought in and older people expect to see the, the, the new faces and hear new voices and and see the travail of thy soul, O oh Lord, we expect thee. For thou art God, and because Jesus Christ thy Son said if we wanted anything asked in his name, and you'd give it to us. And because that's why the gospel is being preached, that's why we're here, so we expect to see it, God. We don't believe that thou dost speak to men vainly or say anything to anybody carelessly. We believe that when thou dost make a promise, that promise is as good as gold. So we're expecting, Father, we're expecting thee to do it. Oh, well, around the margins, our relatives, our friends, our neighbors, people all around here that are not here tonight, but they can be here, and they can be brought in, and they can be one. We pray to you, oh God, fall on the churches, fall on this church, fall on our people. We pray with a, with a new afflatus of love for men that we may not depend on the word from the pulpit only, but that we might supplement that word with earnest soul winning efforts. Now come on, this Father, we're looking for help, O oh God. Once more we remind thee that we have for this church a vision of a strong Bible-based, morally right, solid, vigorous, active, loving church that the people will feel when they come in here that surely the, the Lord's in this place of a truth. The Lord may be slow, but we believe it'll come. Now I said first the, the, the little sprout, and then the stalk, and then the ear, and then the full corn in the ear. So put us through those stages fast, Lord, because we need the corn and we need it fast. We need it soon. Pray God meet us for trusting you. We pray to you for any tonight that are not committed, that have been, the Holy Ghost has found them somewhere there among the, 
among the rocks or on the wayside or among the thorns. Here God has found them, we pray thee, that they might come out from there and be good ground and receive the truth into our honest hearts and bring forth truth with patience under perfection. We ask this in Christ's name. Now let's sing this number, please. Number is We pray thee this night that thou would help the young man who is seeking thy face. Blessed Jesus. And then we pray for some who, for their own reasons, did not see fit to present themselves publicly. We pray for them and ask that our Lord will be with them as thou certainly will be with them right on and keep them in life until they've either said the last no or have said a happy yes to thy invitation. Pray now thy blessing upon us, and may mercy and grace attend us all the days of our lives. Dismiss us now with thy blessing, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Than you will ever find at any other time. O oh, Father, we beseech thee for all of these. Take them through the fire and through the flood but above all things, through the blood. And if they have to sit by the river Kibar, as Ezekiel did, or be thrown down into a pit, as Jeremiah was, or be surrounded by dancing fanatical foes, as Elijah was, or be on the Isle of Patmos, as John was, or to fall flat down, in a faint, as Daniel did, oh, whatever the cost we pray thee, make Christian worshipers out of these men and women. This we ask in Jesus' name. Everybody stand by the microphone. Say, Father, first of all, help us. Thy name should be hallowed. Hallowed. And that thy kingdom should come. That thy will should be done all over the universe, down here as it is up there, that that be first, and the other things fall in line. Blessed be God, and blessed be his holy Son, Jesus Christ. This we ask in Jesus' name. Now, him. O God, our Father. We thank Thee, we thank Thee, we thank Thee for Jesus Christ, Thy Son. We haven't done anything that we can think of but what we're ashamed of. We haven't done anything but what we ought to be ashamed of. We haven't done anything, our brains, our minds, our bodies, our souls, our spirits. We haven't done anything ourselves except what Thou hast given us. What Thou hast given us, we're not ashamed of. We're glad for and we're deeply grateful. We will go and appear and be there, dressed in thy righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. Thou will know us and claim us and not be ashamed of us, because we were redeemed in thy mercy. Poor, scarred, bruised, pathetic, pale face, dying, thou didst find us and save us and lift us, and renew us, and give us life, and we are thine. Thou bless this congregation, and we pray for any who may not be saved, that they must see what they're missing, and turn quick to Jesus Christ, and say, Lord, I am sorry for my past. From here on, I am thine.